we almost never create any object by just picking a point on the screen because we can't make sure of their accuracy. Uh, now in this lesson we'll learn how to create accurate objects by using object snaps. Object snaps allow us to create some accurate drawings by snapping to uh, one of the coordinates on uh, any specific geometry. But before we start uh, I should point out that uh, I have a grid display on and the and I'll turn the dynamic input on and all of those others are off right now. And we're going to use the object snaps and learn how to use it. Now these objects at the upper row are completed objects and uh, these objects and the down row are the uncompleted objects that we're going to complete these objects uh, based on the upper row drawings. Now I'm going to launch the line command and before that I'm going to pan and zoom a little on this first object here and we're going to recreate that uh, or better to say complete that object. Now as we talked about the coordinates and their uses and uh, we, we can figure out the exact coordinate of this uh, line at this point here but it is not going to be as accurate as we want so I'm going to uh, press, sh press and hold shift button and right click and uh, that gives us access to all these uh, object snap commands that we're going to use these to help. In this case I'm going to select the endpoint. I'm going to mind that uh, whichever end of the line we're close closest to the AutoCAD is going to uh, select that point. I'm going to click and uh, shift and hold the shift and right click again the endpoint click and I'm going to press escape. I'm going to press my space to launch the line command again. I'm going to shift right click endpoint click shift right click endpoint click and I'm going to press escape again. Now that was the endpoint object snap. In, uh, and in this case we're going to recreate the circle uh, based on this line uh, we're going to use another object snap. I'm going to launch my circle command and shift right click I'm going to this time uh, use the midpoint object snap. I'm going to click and drag and uh, now we have to specify a radius for this circle and uh, we're going to shift right click and select the end point of the circle. I'm going to pan a little here. Now we first we're going to recreate this line here and then we're going to do the circle. Uh, I'm going to launch this the line command and right click and in this case we're going to select the intersection click sh shift and right click intersection and click I'm going to press my escape button now uh, we're, go we're going to launch circle again and we're going to shift right click and uh, going to choose the intersection again and as you see there's no intersection between these two lines but AutoCAD is going to figure out where the intersection is going to be based on continuing these lines. I'm going to click and I'm going to just click on the other inter intersection that other line that we're going to intersect or choose an intersection between those and just click on that. 
and AutoCAD figures out the rest. And I'm going to now shift and right click and use the endpoint here. I'm going to click. We're done with this. To pan a little. Now I'm going to launch my line command and I'm going to shift and right click and choose the center. We click, shift and right click, center, click, I'm going to press escape. Now we're going to launch the circle command and I'm going to shift and right click and choose the midpoint for uh, to create a circle from midpoint of this line I'm going to click and now we're going to shift and right click and choose the intersection for this now we're going to recreate this geometry here for now I'm going to select this circle and you see these uh, four points around the circle these uh, are now going to be used to help us uh, to use the object to snap uh, which is called the quadrant and I'm going to press escape again I'm going to launch the line command and right click shift and right click and I'm going to choose the quadrant and as you see where uh, whichever of these uh, quadrant points I'm more close to AutoCAD is going to use is going to select that one I'm going to first uh, select this one create a point here shift and right click quadrant here shift right click select the quadrant shift and right click select the quadrant now I'm going to shift and right click and select the center for the center of this circle I'm going to click I'm going to right click and close we're done with this and we're going to recreate this object now and uh, to recreate this object here we're going to use the uh, the perpendicular snap point snap object here I'm going to launch my line command and I'm going to shift and right click and choose the midpoint here in this square here I'm going to click I'm going to shift and right click and choose the perpendicular to click now we're going to press the space to launch the line command and we're going to create the other the other line there I'm going to shift and right click and choose the perpendicular again and the click and we're done with this one going to recreate this object here now we're going to recreate this but in this case we're going to use the tangent snap point tangent means uh, one and only point uh, and this line that is going to touch the circle well uh, let's recreate and see what that means I'm going to shift and right click and uh, choose the tangent here pick a point right there and as you see it changes the point changes as we move our cursor and uh, that's because uh, AutoCAD is uh, trying to find out which other object we're going to select and as you see I'm going to shift and right click and say tangent I'm going to choose the tangent I'm going to escape 
this line touches both of these circles in one only point here. I'm going to space, shift and right click, tangent, shift and right click, tangent. Object snaps help us to maintain the accuracy of our drawings. 